Vietnam. A land of lush landscapes, vibrant culture, and a history rich with the stories of diverse peoples. Among these tales lies a lesser known narrative, one of faith and resilience. This is the story of Islam in Vietnam. Islam's journey in Vietnam is not marked by grandiose mosques or sprawling Islamic communities. Instead, it is a tapestry woven with subtle threads of history, culture, and faith. The story begins over a thousand years ago, when Arab traders from the Middle East embarked on their maritime journeys, navigating through the Indian Ocean, eventually reaching the shores of Southeast Asia. These early merchants were among the first to introduce Islam to Vietnam. By the 10th century, Champa, a kingdom in what is now central and southern Vietnam, became a significant hub in these trade networks. The Cham people, an ethnic group with deep roots in this region, were among the first Vietnamese to embrace Islam. Evidence of this early Islamic influence is still visible in the Cham towers and ancient mosques dotting the landscape. These structures, though weathered by time, stand as testaments to the Cham people's enduring faith. Today, the Cham Muslims continue to practice Islam, preserving their unique blend of cultural and religious traditions. The arrival of French colonialism in the 19th century brought significant changes to Vietnam. Amidst these transformations, the Islamic community faced new challenges. Colonial policies disrupted traditional practices and imposed new social dynamics. In the heart of modern Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City, lies the vibrant Muslim quarter. Here, a diverse Muslim population including Cham, Indonesian, Malaysian, and South Asian Muslims thrive, contributing to the city's rich tapestry of cultures. The central mosque, built in the 1930s, stands as a beacon for Muslims in the city. Its doors are open to all, symbolizing the inclusivity and unity of the Islamic faith in Vietnam. On Fridays, the mosque fills with worshipers, their prayers a harmonious blend of voices from different backgrounds, yet united in faith. Islamic cultural events and halal markets offer glimpses into the daily lives of Vietnamese Muslims, showcasing their cuisine, crafts, and community spirit. Educational initiatives and interfaith dialogues are bridging gaps, fostering a deeper understanding between Muslims and the broader Vietnamese society. Phố mình về thành phố Hồ Chí Minh chỉ có 7.000 tín đồ thôi ở rải rác không có tập trung một chỗ nói chung là cái mặc dầu nó nhỏ thiệt nhưng mà cũng có cái sự đoàn kết hỗ trợ lẫn nhau à, lãnh sự Indo hiện nay đó ông đó rất là tốt cũng cũng đi viếng thăm ở thánh đường này thánh đường kia cũng có cái sự quan tâm à, mặc dầu là không ấy một dân tộc nhưng mà cũng có sự quan tâm về tinh thần tôn giáo When did you revert to Islam and why and how? And I reverted to Islam like 10 years ago and it was in 2012. Mm. And I finished my high school, then I went to Ho Chi Minh City and there I met the Muslim uh, people and I started to do the research and I found Islam and I came to Darun Akam in Singapore and I make a, my conversion there. Uh, you said that you, you came into contact with some Muslims. 
Like how exactly, what did you see that attracted you to Islam? Oh, I was so scared after the Muslim, when I saw the ladies, uh, they wear the hijab and I scared them. I thought they were doing some kind of magic, the magicians. But slowly I do the research and I found that they are Muslim and they are against magic as Islam teaches. Hmm. So I started to go to the mosque and uh, I studied which points the foreigners who are keen in Vietnam. So your first contact with Islam yeah. uh, was simply that you saw some Muslim women on the street wearing hijab. Yes. And that made you curious, like, yes. you know, why are they uh, dressed like this? So you started doing research about Islam. Yeah. SubhanAllah, I feel like this is already a good reminder for Muslims. Uh, sometimes the, the visual representation, you yeah. know, um, the things that people can see uh, that they identify as with uh, as Muslims is actually quite important. It's a good starting point for people to become curious about Islam. Uh, you are a Hafiz of Quran, so you would know that in the Quran, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentioned uh, something like, "Tell the believing women to cover themselves, yes. so that the uh, the disbelievers will know that they yes. are believers." Right. So <laughs> Despite the lack of dawah, Islam in Vietnam been spreading naturally. Some was curious from observing Muslim women with hijab and others via friendship. Through dialogue, we learn from each other, dispel misconceptions, and build a more inclusive society. The story of Islam in Vietnam is one of resilience, adaptation, and harmony. It is a testament to the power of faith to transcend boundaries and enrich the cultural mosaic of this beautiful country. On the echoes of prayers and the warmth of community, the spirit of Islam continues to thrive in Vietnam, quiet yet profound, ancient yet ever-present. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history and present of Islam in Vietnam. May it inspire understanding and appreciation for the diverse faiths that shape our world. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, and share. Also, let us know your thoughts on the comments section.